Hello, brothers and sisters in Harjo's family. This is the day we're leaving for our trip, and I asked Lord for three rimas. We've been so busy every morning, if I can be honest, this past week, and I haven't made the time to praise I should or seek the Lord. So now that we're leaving, I wanted to know what was on his heart for this trip. The songs he played were telling of trials coming up to submit to his will. The other two rimas were about letting go of self-seeking and practicing self-forgetfulness, and also about being judged and despised for leaving for souls. I was a little bit taken back because I wasn't expecting that. Then I decided to pull rainbows from my box and got the first one, keep quiet, pray. And on the back it said, prudence, have a spirit of shut up <laughs> with lips that are zipped up. <laughs> I get this rainbow when it's concerning a trial and I want to express how I feel or share my displeasure about something. And the Lord is saying, hush, girl, hush, just pray. If I can be honest, last year's mission trip, was met with many painful trials between Father Derek and I, and I began to dread it as the enemy was suggesting all my fears and painful memories from my last trip that would happen all over again. I came before the Lord. Good morning, Lord. With all the ramens and songs, I'm beyond discouraged now with what I feel you're telling me. You made a promise to me this mission trip won't be like the last time. It was so painful last year, and all the ramens are seeming to lead up to more tests and trials. Jesus began, The rainbow is given to you to prompt you. When there are difficulties, I'd rather that you keep quiet and pray. The enemy will do all that he can to bring distension between you two. You think speaking helps, and it does, but sometimes it's silence. And for you, beloved, it's silence, and pray and watch what I'll do. Do not worry. This trip will be very fruitful, very fruitful beyond your capacity to understand. I then took a break and both of us joined the intercessory prayer call. I shared my vulnerable feelings with the group and rather left feeling like maybe I shouldn't have shared my feelings so much. There was so much coming to my mind and heart that it was hard to hear the Lord's voice, but he broke through. Jesus continued, Beloved, come back to me. You are seeing and envisioning the worst. It will not be that bad or anything like you perceive it to be or the presentations of the enemy to cloud your judgment in your mind. Just like you trusted me before, saying, Lord, if indeed your promise is true, have my beloved do this in the quietness of your heart. You said a short prayer, and what happened? He came to do exactly what you prayed for, to ensure that I am faithful and that, and that his heart has changed. I want you to do the same and let go of all else. Do not talk or complain, just pray, beloved. You will end this year with great joy and a bountiful harvest but the enemy wants you to stop before you can even get there. And the measure of fruit and anointing you both will receive is telling why the opposition is so intense and will increase to cause discouragement if you go about what you see or feel. So trust me, my beloved one, trust me. Enjoy this journey with me. I've already gone before you to make provision for everything, even your failures, but I'm asking you to cooperate with me. I love you enough to give you a heads up so you are forewarned and not taken by surprise. Do not worry. Everything will work out for your good, and for the good of the souls I will have you touch. <sighs> okay, Lord. And what about taking nothing with you for the journey? Um, and as an aside family, this is from when Jesus sent out his disciples. Two by two, he gave instructions when journeying to share the gospel and what should be done. And it's taken from Luke 9, verses 3. And it says here, he told them, take nothing for the journey, no staff, no bag, no bread, no money, no extra shirt. And I've gone this dream a couple times when he's indicating that I'll be traveling. And Jesus is very literal for those who would have the faith to abandon themselves to divine providence and watch him move. Unfortunately, I didn't think Father Derek would go for it just yet. As I looked at our three suitcases and one carry on bag, thinking maybe it is a bit too much. And is he sure I should take nothing? However, I've seen God's faithfulness by following his instructions very literally when Brother Leo was called to the mountain and he literally came with the clothes on his back and Jesus provided everything when he got there. He also got the ring and take nothing with you for the journey. So help me, Lord. Jesus responded, Submit these things here, beloved. Follow his leading and you could always simplify your items. I want you to go leading by example, beloved. The example of simplicity and holy poverty that says, I am enough. Everything you are taking is not necessary, so take what only is necessary for the journey. Although I would prefer you take nothing at all, I do understand your state in life as a wife. 
I do desire that you submit to his thinking. A time will come where his will will completely be my will. And many times you will travel taking nothing with you, as you see me provide and do all things for you and through you. Go with my peace this morning, beloved. Let all your anxieties and fears go. Embrace my holy will, whatever may come. Whatever may come your way. Don't let complaints slip from your mouth, but rather thank me. Make it a habit. You can begin doing this mission trip and a great opportunity that I have provided for you. In all things, give thanks to me. Begin now this morning thanking me for my faithfulness. How far have I brought you? The changes you've seen in yourself and your beloved. The provision that I've given you and the more that is to come. The opportunity to be an instrument, a vessel in honor I can use to touch others. Thank me for the opportunity to go to different nations to share my love. And thank me profusely for this union that I've put together. Thank me for your beloved and his leading and counseling your life. You both are a blessing and will be a blessing. Not only to those whom I will have you meet, but to one another. I make sure that you both see that again. A holy heavenly team that hell cannot stop or reckon with. Take my spirit and my power and my love wherever you go. That is the expected end. For now you both are being refined and transformed into that with every situation, every opportunity, and even every trial. Thank me, beloved. Thank me. And that was the end of Jesus' message. Pray for me, family, truly. I also want to say thank you so much for your support and your continuous prayers. It's because of you that this is all possible, guys. I'll be sharing the needs of the group in China and India on the channel. We received a large donation a week or so ago, but we had to make some large purchases for irrigation material and equipment for the farm at the City of God that the Lord wants us to do. We also paid for some school fees for our 21 children and up to single mothers with their needs. Leaving today, we're very low on donations. In India, they have a budget of about $3,400 that is needed during the time of our mission trip to support their activities and also help all the people there. So any donation amount family will be greatly appreciated. Truly, whatever we get goes out so quickly because we support a lot of people and families in Ghana and even within our group. So please think of us. God bless you, family, until the next message.